Hi, Ian here from Back on Two Wheels. Um, this video, you're going to join me from Munich to Lake Tegernsee. I hope I've said that right. It's um, a lake near the Austrian border, just uh, just before the the Alps, as it were. So um, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so got the camera set up. It's a lovely uh, sunny day, um, and I've put a, a lake of some description into the um, sat nav on the phone, and let's see where it takes us. So anyway, today um, on this journey, I was uh, wearing the uh, Triumph Pro Layer, uh, manufactured by Zion, um, underneath uh, a lightweight jacket. And the jacket isn't lined, and so effectively it was uh, just uh, one skin, and and the Pro Layer was was creating the lining, if you like. Um, now, I did take a leather jacket with me as well in the top box, just to um, have an option, partly in case it, it rain, although the, the skies obviously look uh, lovely and uh, blue, um, there is uh, always a chance that it might rain while I'm out, so um, I wasn't I wasn't sort of thinking that the the uh, lightweight jacket would offer much in in way of uh, protection against the rain, whereas a, a leather jacket would offer a bit more. A um, little bit of police action going on here. Um, so yeah, I mean, noticeably, um, I could feel the uh, the flow of air into the jacket. Um, and I didn't see it as an issue, to be honest, because especially in, in light of the times when I'd probably be looking to wear it, which would be in, in the summertime, um, a bit of airflow would, be, would certainly be a, um, a, a comforting thing, I think. Um, as far as... Uh, the feel of it, it does, it sort of feels like you've got a, uh, like a, a rucksack or something on your back, not in weight terms, but in the fact that you've got obviously something 
solid on your bank note. And I'm guessing people that uh, generally speaking ride with uh, back protection would would know this. So I mean, this is the first time I've I've had any uh, uh, back protection padding in any any sort of jackets. As if you've seen my um, videos in the past. Um, let me just come off track here a bit. There seem to be a huge amount of police. Look at all these um, police vans and bits and bits. More or less every vehicle that was going past me then was some was some sort of police vehicle. Uh, even these these small cars were were uh, police cars, as it were. Um, so anyway, going back on track with the uh, with the uh, pro layer. Um, yeah, it felt like there was there was something on your back at all times. Obviously, um, I didn't see it as a discomfort. Um, in some ways, I suppose it's comforting to know it's there. Um, after you know, thirty seven years ago, when I was last riding, um, we didn't have uh, such things, and and I guess you don't, you certainly don't go out with the intention of of coming off the bike um that's for sure and i tend not to ride in a in a fashion that would uh would uh, put me at more risk i guess um being uh i think risk averse is probably the uh the term so um or a slow rider i'm a i'm a relatively slow rider I prefer, you know, it's to me. It's about the the journey um, on two wheels and enjoying that, as opposed to trying to um, imitate uh, Barry Sheen or or any of the the current uh, Moto GP SBS um, heroes of today. Um, that's not. It never has been my riding style. And I'm not going to start. I'm not going to start now. Um, so yeah, it's uh, I I found it. Uh, I found it a, a comforting sort of uh, feeling to know it's there. But I was aware that it was there. Um, the 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 band that comes around the waist, I feel probably helps in keeping it up because I think if that band wasn't there, it would also slide down against your lower back, um, maybe. So anyway, um, I think it's uh, I think it's a decent piece of kit. Um, certainly, I uh, hope it never has to uh, be there for the for the the purposes it's designed. But um, it doesn't hurt to have it there. Uh, that's for sure. Um, okay. Unfortunately, the um, the phone wasn't set at. Uh, avoid motorways and uh, tolls as I normally said it so it, it ended up taking me down a couple of uh, motorways which I then um, sort of re tried to redirect myself elsewhere in order to get into the uh, the roads um, the route that that was on the on the thumbnail I've um, was effectively the the route that I took back, um, which was, which was all sort of A's and A and B roads as as we would call them back home. So, you know, avoiding the uh, the motorways and the likes, you know, because this isn't the real country, is it? The real country is where the uh, where the the people live and the businesses are and things like this. So, anyway, so I hope you enjoy uh, the rest of the journey I'm gonna speed it up so you get a lot of the journey but it's gonna be faster and I didn't do that with the use of my right hand I've done that through um, video editing okay I'll speak to you later on
So anyway, um, the camera had moved, so it wasn't getting a proper um, um, picture of me, as it were. But um, certainly the the road ahead was great, and as you can see, the uh, the mountains there in the in between the buildings. It was uh, you know lovely. This is round by the so I'm actually going around by the lake, heading towards the what would actually be the south of the, of the lake itself. Um, but yeah, mountains still with a bit of snow on the top. What's not to like about that? So anyway, I'm coming up sort of to the area where I'd put into the sat nav. Um, I picked it because it was, uh, there was some uh, pools and stuff. It looked like a, a place that uh, uh, maybe had uh, parking there and people around it or whatever, you know, somewhere where people would congregate. So, um, yeah, it was, uh, nice little uh, town the, the shops are all quite um posh to some extent in fact uh yeah we're up near the austrian border and um as you can tell by the uh, yeah the the change in architectural style um there's a lot of uh a lot of um sort of porsches obviously nice bmws etc ferrari i saw in in there bentley rolls royce even so um yeah all good so i pulled over just over here these there's um these people talking here i got a little um not telling off but they asked me to turn the engine i'd left the engine running a bit long and they sort of was trying to tell me in german to can i turn it off i understood in the end what they were talking about but uh, <laughs> obviously i didn't know what they were saying but i could but i gathered from the uh the gesture about turning it off so um my apologies for them for letting it run a bit longer than maybe it should. Anyway, lovely place.
and get the the height of the mountains. So this is where I am to go and see. Um, having a coffee. About an hour's journey from where I'm staying in Munich. Absolutely beautiful. Tranquil, a lot of people here. Um, but it's not rammed. But obviously it's, it's a big, it's a big, big lake. I'm just, this little section here is just, a fraction at the end of the lake um, so okay winds blowing the other cup over they give you small coffees so to have a proper coffee you gotta put two in weird so um, yeah I'm gonna go round um, the outside like Buffalo Girls um, and keep the lake on the on my right and at some point end up over the other side of the lake there and then journey back from there ah.
so anyway, nice little journey around the outside of the lake. Um, roads are quite good. Uh, you can't always see the, the lake. Um, you can't especially. But um, just at this junction here, I'll slow it down a bit. Look, these two little like go-kart type of uh, arrangements going on. Fantastic. Lovely roads around here. Um, it's a shame I couldn't get any footage of the uh, the lake itself from the road. Um, need to maybe get the camera mounted back up on the on the crash app. Um, we'll have to see. Um, well, that's it really, pretty much. I hope you enjoyed the um, the video, the little trip down. Um, and the fact that I did speed it up, I hope it wasn't a, an issue for you. Comment down below if, um, if you've got anything um, constructive to add. Uh, yeah, it's um, a nice place, I'm sure I might visit out here again. It's um, a yeah, lovely little area. Uh, next time I'll venture uh, further into the, into the mountains um, as, a, as a summer comes in and that, we get uh, nicer weather. I'll, uh, I'll venture up there too. I did actually um, travel a bit further than this because just around here is where I joined the road where I started. Um, and, and I did continue on a bit further and ended up going just towards the, uh, the mountains a little bit and then uh, stopping and coming back into the town and then making my way back home. Anyway, till the next time, I hope you enjoy. See you.